We're now going to add some beads into the crown and it's pretty similar technique across the whole piece. But I've got an Ato bead um, threaded onto um, 60 centimetres 0.25 millimetre wire at the base of one of the loops in the crown and I'm just going to wrap the uh, 0.25 millimetre wire on one side around the loop and then work with the other side now that that side is anchored in place. So I'm going to thread through um, the 0.25 millimetre wire through the bead you need to thread through about um, two or three times um, it, if you can just to help it um, stay in place a bit more easily. I'm only going to do it twice today um, for time and then what I'm going to do is wrap this wire that I'm working with um, above the bead once and below the bead once just to help it anchor in place and then we'll start to wrap along the side. And I'll come back to you when we're ready to to add in another the pearl. So I've wrapped along the lobe um, until I've reached the widest point and make sure that you um, keep the, the wraps tightly compressed with little pre um, presses of your fingernail and um, gentle presses of the pliers side to side um, and then what we're going to do is add a bead in uh, the pearl in with a crisscross wrap. So I've threaded the pearl on to 025 millimeter wire on one side um, and then I'm going to pass the other 025 millimeter wire through the pearl um, to form a crisscross bead attachment and this helps um, give it more strength the attachment and pull the wires through slowly on either side to avoid any kinks put your finger in there to help that happen stop that happening and pull the pearl into place um, within the frame and then pull uh, with a little tension um, to start wrapping along the frame um, until you reach a level where you're ready to add some more beads in do that on either side. So here you can see I've added the pearl in here and I've added an ato, a three mil and another ato with another crisscross attachment near the base of that lobe. Don't cut any of these wires, you'll need them for, for later stages. I've just beaded up two of these side lobes here and we just need to cut um, this end wire um, here close to the frame with flush cutter pliers. Uh, on the inside edge and then smooth the um, cut end down with a gentle rolling motion of the chain nose pliers tips so that there's no sharp edge. Run your hand over the wire so you don't catch it. Leave the other two wires, we're going to, sorry, three wires. And then we're going to work with the central two um, either side of the side lobes here. And we're going to add beads into this little space between the um, crown. And also you can see I've added just one um, three millimeter crystal and one eight o to this lobe because it's a bit smaller. So um, first of all, thread on an eight o to one of the wires, pass the other wire through in this sort of crisscross bead attachment, and then we're going to just very gently as we pull this bead into place, we're just going to settle it in between in between the lobes here, pulling it into place. In fact, what I might do is just thread this through so to help this pop it into the right place. Thread it into the lobe, to the side, on this side of, the, of this lobe. And pull that into position. And this a little bit further up, you see, it help, helps pull the bead into position above the base of that lobe. And again, round that side here through and gently pull it. So... You don't get any tangles, pull it into, into place. You can see it, it now will sit into place between the two. You can wrap it once here around this lobe if you want to, but for speed, I'm just going to bring this up in between the lobe a little bit further along. I did wrap it once around the lobe frame either side. It just It's a little bit fiddly and takes a bit of time um, for the demonstration. But please try and do that if you can. Um, again, another bead added in, threading it in and just before you quite get it so tightly in position just again I'm going to thread it above that pearl attachment but not quite at the top yet sort of just above where that pearl is attached into the lobe can you see that point there pull that into position <laughs> And the same fit here 
might go a little bit. Actually, do you know what? It might be better just below it. Pop it in below that pearl attachment. So I think it's going to fit into, into the space better. Trim off any th um, threads if they get ragged. By the way, any ragged ends are difficult to, to thread through. Can you see now, this has come into position nicely as the next one up. I'm going to continue beading up with another bead added in the same way. So here is the crown frame um, beaded up for the minute. We've got two wires left right in the centre um, and everything else has been trimmed away. So put that to one side again for the moment and we're going to um, go through adding in beads um, to the other components. I've added beads into these um, other components here. Um, I took a metre of 0.25 millimetre wire and wrapped the midsection around this end loop here, added an 8O beads with crisscross attachments in these two uh, spaces here and ended up with long wire tails either end on either side ready to attach, use these to attach into the piece. With this I will go in more detail into how to uh, wrap these beads on in a longer video that I will do for you um, but I added 8O's round in these little lobes, um, a little 3 mil into the middle, another 8 and then wrap around the side and added in um, eight o and a pearl into this space, and then three eight o's all the way down with crisscross bead attachments. Another three millimeter um, bead, making sure I pinch this as I made the crisscross attachment, so that I pinched it tight so there wasn't too much of a gap. And then ended up with wire tails at the base. Um, I placed the curly detail over the um, crown uh, band frame and just wrapped the 0.25 millimeter wires around the, cur the sort of end curls of the curly detail a few times just to touch them together at this point and I've done that with both both of them um, and then just do that with the both wires at the top you can see they're now attached together just make sure there's a gap in the middle that you can fit the central frame through and we're going to move on to the next step I'm going to start to attach um, the sections together. So place the band as close as you can up to the top of the, or the base of these little lobes. Um, and this is the fiddly bit. And, and once you start joining things together, it will be better. Put these, some of these wires out of the way and just you're just working with the t um, upper 0.25mm uh, wires on this side of the, um, crown, of the crown detail. And just start to wrap around both frames on either side and make sure this detail this this um, um, band fits inside the rest of the crown and as you start to cinch things to, into place it will happen so a few wraps here and then you can wrap I want to push this so the curl is out of the way Push this up and wrap around the top, around just the band frame. So you can see I've wrapped along um, the um, corner here, wrapped along um, and also wrapped around this side of the detail here, then in wrapped along this curl and also then attached to the side lobe here, the base wrapped along attached to the side of this little section here and then wrapped along to the, the end and leaving the wire tail. So you need those wire tails for later. We don't have time in, in the show today to go through the fine detail of, of completing the piece, but I will post a much longer video on my Rachel Norris um, Jewel Designer um, YouTube channel and it will have a full length tutorial on it for you to be able to, to make it up. So, um, after working along the top of this um, section here with these two wires from attaching the little curly details, leaving those wire tails, I put in the central detail here and used um, the two wire tails left over from that to attach a little um, three millimeter crystal with a crisscross wrap here and use the wire tails to attach and secure these loops together a bit more and then cut and tucked in the wires. I then, then threaded a long length of 0.25 millimeter wire through this crystal and then wrapped along the base edges here wrapping also to the curly details and also 
um, wrapping on an 8 bead with several wraps through the bead and then cut and tuck in those wire ends. Um, then I used the lower wire ends tails from these little curly details and wrapped along the lower edge also wrapping um, to the curly details here with several wraps wrapping on this little middle section and then I wrapped onto the um, central detail uh, once on either side of each wire tail and then added in an 80 bead here with a crisscross bead attachment and then cut in and touch in those wire tails. Then you had four wire tails left, two at the top and which I wrapped around um, the central detail and the lobes here and then cut those in um, away so you didn't have them anymore. And then the final two wires which ended up were, were coming from this um, wrap along this section here I added on NATO bead and wrapped to the central section, really securing this in place. And then I passed the wires up in between these curls on either side and added in an NATO bead um, with a crisscross att attachment. And then I finally got rid of those wires. So that's all you need um, to work through um, completing the piece. But if you want to see it in more detail, please find me on Rachel Norris, um, jewelry designer or JM guest designer, Rachel Norris. Find my YouTube channel and have a little look at the uh, full tutorial. I really hope um, you enjoy making the design.